Hello everyone, welcome back to another quick video for Finale version 25. Um, today I'll be showing you how to create cross staves. This is going to apply mostly for uh, piano uh, or harp or really anything that involves two staves where you need to cross over to the next staff. So in this case I want to have this whole, this whole top staff on the bottom. Now the one easy way to, of doing this is to simply put this into the second layer and then just right over it on, on uh, the top. Well in this case it's going to be the bottom but anyhow I want to show you how to actually get this over to the bottom and it's pretty simple. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go up to uh, the note mover tool which you can find under the advanced tool palette. See if I check it it's gone. So I'll go ahead and click on that and then you'll notice a uh, note mover option menu tab comes up. Click on that, make sure cross staff is checked. Once it is and you're in note mover, go ahead and click on the measure you want to move, notes you want to move, and depending on how much you want you can just go ahead and drag, make sure all the handles are shown, select one of those handles and just pull it down to the second staff. It won't work flawlessly, there will be some times where, let me show you, where don't move it down far enough, for example, it won't work like that. Um, it's not moving all the way down. So you'll need to can you even drag it. That's actually not doing it. Drag it to around the right position where it needs to be. And you'll notice it collides with this these notes on the bottom. And that's actually really easy to fix. So let me show you. You can just go ahead and have a note selected in simple entry. Press the letter L on your keyboard and it'll flip the stems. And now we should be able to do it. Let's go ahead and get back into our note mover tool. Have all that selected. Highlight everything. And just go ahead and pull it down. And there you have it. One thing to note when about note mover tool is this is not a second layer. If you want to actually modify any of these notes, it's going to be hard. You're going to think you have to click on that, but it's going to actually be affecting the bottom staff. So you'll need to think in terms of, you know, where it is. It's on the top staff. So let's see. Once you have something selected, um, you can move them up and down with the arrow keys. Or you could also use, uh, if you have a MIDI keyboard, you can just go ahead and play. Play into them. That's going to be the easiest thing to do. Uh, if you're trying to put a chord here using uh, simple entry, you're going to have a devil of a time trying to actually do it. So make sure once you've, you've you've really committed to the music that you've put once you've done this. Uh, another thing that took me a long time to figure out how to do that's very common in piano music is is this cross staff, this double hand thing, hitting the same note or just alternating between. Uh, close notes and whatnot. So for those of you who don't understand this kind of notation, this is very common in piano music. This just indicates that this this same note, this E is being hit, you know, with the left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, etc. To usually for really quick passages. This is a hell of a hard thing to actually figure out how to do, and it's not going to be that intuitive. So let me first show you how what you need to do. Let's say you just want this E to be a repeated note. So on the bottom staff, fill the whole whole measure up with notes, with this E repeated notes. Then what you're going to need to do is go up into a note mover tool. Actually before you do that, let me save you the trouble. These notes are going to actually collide with this rest up here. So I'm going to put a whole note up there, press the letter R to make it a rest, and then press the letter H to hide it. And then I'm going to press the up arrow to just get this out of the way so it's not as ugly to look at. Then we're going to go into our note mover tool. And remember, got to make sure that cross staff box is checked. Once you have that checked, what you need to do, and this is the painful bit, um, you'll need to actually click each of these notes and drag it up to the top. Unfortunately, you can't control click. I wish that were the case. I wish you could control click all of these, but you'll need to do it manually. So let me do this real quick. And 
And once that is done, to get it to look like this, instead of being these ugly uh, four-grouped beams of sixteenths, let's go ahead and control click to highlight one of those notes. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and press the forward slash or the question mark key to beam them together. Make sure it's at the end of the group. If you pre if you split it right there, it won't work. You got to make it right there. And now the tedious bit. So you only need to go into the beam angle tool, which you can find under window and special tools palette. Make sure that's checked. Once you have that checked, beam angle tool, go ahead and select uh, the bottom staff. And it's going to be the left handle, the left hand handle. You're going to want to just drag that up into the middle approximately. And then to fix these backwards facing stems, we'll need to go into the reverse stem tool and go ahead and click the bottom handle on every other staff and you'll notice this happens I don't know why this happens if you compl if every other one is completed it just sh shifts the uh, the beams around I'll show you how to fix that something that I wish finale would fix and same with that one. So that's no biggie at least. You can just go ahead, reposition it. And there you have it. Now, if you have a bunch of these, if you have a big line, I mean, the, the obvious thing to do is just to copy and paste it. If you have a bunch of these, and it's just a, and it's just a single note moving around, which would be really nice. Um, that's actually not, not too hard. Again, same thing. Make sure you have a note selected and just go about it with um, the arrow keys. If you try to start messing with it, um, you know, with with uh, notes, then you end up with this this hideous mess. So, and there's really no way to fix that. Uh, the other one, uh, obviously, is just to um, uh, you can just go ahead and have a note selected. Um, make sure you use the repitch tool so you don't respell out notes accidentally or the rhythmic values. And you can go ahead and uh, if you have a MIDI keyboard plugged in, just go ahead and play what you want it to play. And it should be able to play it back and notate it correctly. And that's pretty much how you do it. Um, I know that seemed a little complicated. However, I mean, I hope that saves you a little bit of time and, you know, frustrations and agonizing pain and torture of actually having to do this. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And um, I'll be making more of these videos as they come. So thank you all for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to see more videos. Um, keep up to date with what I'm doing. And um, I'll see you guys later.